So on my app, if I want to use it, I just come to classroom and I click on that. Then when I click on the classroom app, it brings me to my classes. And then I click on the class that I want to do its work. And I'm just there. I can read. For example, let me check on some material here. Maybe composition tips. Let me, let me read something on this composition. So I open that and then I see what the teacher shared on composition. So when you're there, you can easily scroll and just read because the notes are there. It's easy. So be using that. I don't even log in. I just tap on that and then the class is just open. So I say welcome to our tutorial today. Briefly, I'll just take you through our new learner management system. That is the LMS that is going to work on the Google Classroom application. So I'm very glad and I first I'd like to take you through some of the requirements that of course you'll need. You will need the device that you're going to use for that. Maybe you need some smartphone. And if you don't have a smartphone, maybe you can access that using your computer, laptop, desktop, whatever. So once you have all that, the next thing that you'll require is maybe the, just the internet connectivity. And that's all. Because now I go to the softwares. Yeah, the softwares that are also going to help you go through that. We will request that you should have a Gmail application because we work with Gmail address. So we are going to use Gmail as the domain and then of course that means that you must have a Gmail email address. Not Yahoo and not these other corporate emails like .ac.k and the rest. It must be at gmail.com. There are though other advancements that that will be explained later once you've understood our interface and you're able to interact with it so well. So once you have your Gmail, you have an email address of which we will request that the pupil should have their own email address. Reason is simple. The app will be sharing a lot maybe to the email. We will have some notifications that will be forwarded to the email address and it may be boring for the parent to keep on receiving such texts. So they better be channeled to the pupil's email address and so that is the main reason otherwise such notifications can also be muted and so the, okay they can be stopped so that you don't receive them there's a way we're going to see that so apart from the email address of course you will need the google classroom application and after the classroom application you will need the docs application i will explain what each of those applications will be helping you in just as you continue watching our video so maybe I don't have this classroom application. Where do I get it? Just come to your Play Store. And then on the Play Store platform, just come and search for classroom. Once you search for classroom, of course, I've seen it there. Click on it and then install. I will post the video until the, the application has installed before giving further guidance on that. In case you can't download the application, maybe your memory is full, you need to free up some items before you start your download again. So such challenges, I know you experience them from time to time and you can handle that. So far, so good. The app has been downloaded. And so the next thing, just launch your application. Just open the app. So when I, once I open the app, I hope it will bring me to what I'm now supposed to be doing. It tells me to get started and you must now provide an email with which you're going to use to go through the system. And so I will key in my email address that I'm going to work with. And then once I've given that, I will let things be set up for me. And then once you key in your email, now you, you brought to the home page and then that's where everything starts. This is where you're going to be working as a pupil. So the first thing that you're going to do, click the plus button at the top right corner and then from there you have a number of things that you're supposed to do. You have join class, create class. I'll not ask you to create class because you don't have the credentials that will be required before you create that class, but then you will be joining a class. So hit on join class and because your teachers have created the class, they will give you the code that you're going to use for that class. 
In my case, the code is right here. Let me just make it a little bit confidential so that, uh, so I'll just key in my class code, right, sj. So that is done. So once you put your code, click on join, and then there you are. We've already joined the class, and you can see the class is class 8, and that is the class that I've just joined. I'm now part of this class, and I'm able to use anything that is on this classroom. But I'm going to show you what to do once you are here. Before I go far, I want to join a second class. So assuming the teacher gave me another code to join, maybe this is class 8, I want to join a second class. Once you click on this button, the three bars there, you see class 8 is here, meaning I've already joined that class, but I want to join another one that I haven't joined. So what do you do? Come here and come to classes. Now, when you, once you've come to classes, because you want to join another class, you see class 8 is already there, but I hit on plus, add, and then I join another class. This time round, I don't want to join class 8, I want to join a separate class. And uh, in this case, let me just try and see the class that I would want to join. Right there. I have another code that is uh, there for the class that, again, we have created. J, B. Okay, again, I will hide that. Then I once I've keyed in my digits there, join. And I've also chosen to join that other class. Right there, it has come. You can see now I'm in grade 1. So I've joined another class for grade one and then that other class. Maybe you are from the same house and you have two people who'd want to join two separate classes. Now this is the way to go. Now when I hit on that so that I see the menu that I have, you can see on the classes that I've joined, I have grade one and I have class eight. So clicking on any class will take me to that class. Like in this case, I click on class eight. It loads the details for class eight. I come back to grade one. It takes me back to grade one. Of course, you can see it is as easy as A, B, C, or do I say it's as easy as a pie? Whatever, you can always maneuver your ways and manage your classes in that manner. You can see grade one doesn't have much because we've not been concentrating on it for some time. That's why I said you don't need to create a class because creating a class is one thing, but loading it with the right materials is another thing. The class is empty, and it's up to us, the teachers, to load what we feel is necessary for you, the learner. And that is why we will always ask you to join the already created classes. Now, I will take you through what you do with your class. First things first. Let's go to the settings. So under the menu, I'll come to the first thing. Of course, the email that is registered for the classroom, you, it will be shown there. So you can always know which email have you registered there. Now, apart from the email, we have the list of classes. Second one under the menu is the list of classes, of which when you click on that, it brings you to your classes right there. Third thing, we have a calendar. Now, why do you need a calendar on our classroom app? You have schedules of classes, of assignments, and it will be adding them onto that calendar. So with the calendar, if you check, you will see if you have an event that is supposed to be taken soon and that. Apart from the calendar, we have the notifications. It tells you about, is there an assignment that has been posted? Do you have some work that is supposed to be submitted? You click on notification, you will always find that information. In this case, I don't have any you can be seeing. At least those are the previous ones. It will be giving you notifications about the class activities. To-do list will be telling you what do you have to do next. Do you have some work? In this case, you are told, wow, like no work to do and now in that case. So that is what you need. Then that is to-do list. And then under done, it will give you a list of what you've done and a list of what you're supposed to do. So you'll always see what you've done and what you're supposed to be doing in that case. So that if you have an assignment that you haven't done, just come to your to-do list and you'll always find that. The next thing, we have the classes that we've joined down there, the two classes, grade 1 and class 8, that have just joined. Then there is a feature that we call archived classes. Under archived classes, it will give me details about the classes that I've hidden, that I don't want to see appearing on my main page. So those are the archived classes. 
class folders contain features about your class of course these ones you will not be using them so let me just take you through very fast because you don't need to be using a lot from this page then we have settings that is a very critical and key area for you as a as a pupil under settings there are few things that you will change i'll only recommend that you change one thing under class settings that is updating your photo if you want to upload a, your photo that is the only thing that you should change here so under personal information you come to personal information and then you click on this camera icon when you click on that there is set profile photo it is necessary just like you have your whatsapp profile photo is the same way you will have your profile photo for your classroom remember when you set a profile photo everyone in the class will be able to see it so you are able to choose from your folders or you are able to take one using your selfie or your camera it depends the next thing you have your name that is the name that you used to register your email address it is generated automatically any other information here must not be changed and don't fear even if you have your phone number because you must need a phone number to create an email address this information is not available to anyone else except you the learner so nobody will see all this information except the photo that you updated i don't want to take a lot of time there other things are here like comments on posts comments that mention you private comments on work always leave them as default because it's to your advantage as the learner work on other posts from teachers returned work and grades from teachers when you are you leave them checked like they are it lets you find any update that the teachers have sent for example look at the last one it talks about the due date reminders for your work it tells you when the teachers updated something and you need to check on that urgently i will not go into so much details about that i want to bring you to our page the classes are here because i'm already a member let me click on class 8 so once i go to class 8 i have some informations that i should then be checking now on your class there is this i button that stands for information at any given time you click on the i button it gives you an information about your class so don't forget to be clicking on the i button then we have the three dots it allows you to refresh your page when there is anything click on refresh and then the page will load anything that has been posted there if you don't want to refresh using that button don't worry swipe your screen downwards that will always refresh your page and then you get everything that you need down here we have the stream we have classwork and we have people so the next feature is the stream the stream is this home page that you will always be in so when you come to the stream this will always give you all the details that you want about the class but you will not be doing a lot on that page the topmost work is the work that was updated last and you can see the time it was posted and the time it was edited by the teacher so apart from the stream we have classwork now this is ma your major area of operation being a pupil you will always be doing everything on the classwork page so what does it show when i get there you will be seeing the areas where the teachers will be updating information now when the area is grayed out it shows that you've already checked that material teachers will upload materials and then when you click on them you will always be seeing for example let me come to something about uh, this mathematics i have unit 1 numbers now when i click on that i have several things that the teachers have attached here that i am supposed to be checking for example let me click on words and symbols so you see when i click on words and symbols i have this material on mathematics that i'm supposed to be working on so this is always available and teachers have, have updated that you'll be doing that so each topic has an area here you have so many topics and you must know that this list is updated on daily basis so your work is always to come here and check i'm on classwork still that's where we are doing all that 
Now the menu, if you click on that, it takes you back to the place that we already looked at. Maybe the classes and the topics have been added and there are so many and you don't want to look at all of them. What do you do? Click on this to filter. When you click on that button, you will filter by topic. So let me pick on social studies. Now, when I click on that, everything has now disappeared and I'm only seeing the topics that are available for that particular topic that I filtered. When I go back, it takes me back to the general things. So you are always allowed to click on that at least to enable you to filter the area that you want to, to see. This makes your work easy because you'll be seeing how many topics do I have, like in this case. So far, those are the topics that are updated and there'll be more and more coming in. Always to refresh, drag it downwards or come to the three dots there and refresh. It is always as easy as that. There is the last feature under class that I look at, that is this button. This stands for your grades. Remember, you'll be doing an exam, you'll be doing quizzes and that. Once you do that, you click here, it tells you your total grade in that class. Like right now, that is your percentage. And these are so far the papers that you've done. If you want to look at any of those papers and what you scored is also here. So you do papers, they'll be marked, they'll be returned. And you'll always be seeing how many marks you scored in each paper. If you want to look at the specifics about the papers that you've done, like in this case, you can see there is one file that has been attached. You click on that attached file. When I click on it, it brings me to this page. Now, it tells you that this assignment expires within. There is an instruction for that assignment. Click on this link button. And then from there, so that is the home page and how to work with your assignments. If the assignment has not been done, you will see it colored. It will have some color depending on the class theme. Like right now, the class theme is green. So work which has not been done will also be green in color. But if it is grayed out, that work has been done. So next place is about people. Now people here will give you the details about your teachers and your fellow students or pupils in that case. So you will know your teachers are there. And then the classmates are also there. So you should know who else is in your class when you use that. I told you that when you update your picture, now the picture will be showing there. So you will know who else is a member of your class because the name is there. How does it get the name? You used the name to register your email address and that is where your name is being generated from. There is a special feature that I will call assignments. You can't be here if you don't do assignments. How do you do assignments? It will depend. You'll always be notified. So the teachers will update your assignments and now when they're updated, you come here. For example, let's say I want to do an assignment. Let me click on this. Maths quiz. So in this case, I have an attachment that has been sent. And so you click on this link. Now when I click on that link because I want to do an assignment, it will always ask me to use my email address so you just pick on your email address and then the password that you used the same same password that you used to create your email address this process will be done once whenever you want to do an assignment once you do that it will always remember that if your email address is already saved you will just check i've already saved mine forget about anything there just come and allow so once you allow you'll be directed and right there and then pick on register account and sign in so you register account and sign in now that's all you will be doing and so once you've signed in you just proceed and then you'll be brought to the page where you're supposed to be doing your work of course you just mark your answers normally you move to the next question you mark that you go to the next question it will always tell you how many questions you have so in this case, I proceed up to the last question. Always scroll to view the full question because the question will always be visible. So you do that up to the last. When you finish, it will tell you you are all done. So once you're all done, you then submit. So hit on submit button, then the question is submitted. Once it is submitted, the question will be marked. Once you've stalled your application, you'll always find it among your other applications. So 
it will be very easy to launch and you will not be logging in because it saves your details so logging in is only done once as i explained now when you look at this notification i'm being told that there is a message that just came in while we were doing our presentation let me check the message now you check under notifications there is a notification here what does it say so when i check that it tells me that something has just been posted new assignment that is maths quiz so that is the the reason why there is always a notification when i click on that the notification then disappears and of course when i click on it i'm taken to that leave alone that even if i don't go that direction there is another way i'm here assignments for class 8 always the latest assignment is updated on top of the stream so any latest activity that has been posted you will always see it coming first here so always check or you can always refresh the first thing here you'll always have the updates on the stream now when i come to classwork so that i do the assignment i may filter to see my class assignments only now look at this now i've done all the assignments you can see they are grayed out but there is this green one it takes the class theme remember my class theme was green so the green one means that i've not opened it but there is another information to check it has a due date which is wednesday there is always the time that the assignment expires so again you must always check when the assignment is expiring because if you don't do it before that time then you will not have a chance to do it again so click on that assignment and then first thing before you open an assignment read an instruction in this case you are told answer all the questions this paper will take strictly one hour kindly manage time what does it tell you that the time you start doing this paper you take one hour if you take more than one hour it will stop you and ask you to submit your answers as per the time you've done it so you must always read the instruction how many marks are you expecting 10 so you also know the marks awarded there it is 10 points that means in this case we have 10 questions and look at the status of the paper you are told it is assigned meaning it is an assignment that you have to do so come here and click the quiz and then of course you will be asked to log in with the same same email because you're logging in to do the quiz though you'll only be doing this once you see i don't need to confirm my email because i already gave the password and then it brings me here now on this page for the quiz when i click on these three bars it tells me the time remaining at least you can see the clock is ticking meaning this paper was given 20 minutes so ask a pupil if you don't do your paper and submit within the 20 minutes it means you will not complete the paper remember the reason is because i said these are only 10 questions that we were given here so you must always note that click on it to hide it and click on it to open from time to time to know how many minutes you left with even as you do your paper i don't want to be very strict i just want to pick the answers randomly so let me pick number one b i go to next i pick b again 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 i go to next let me pick b again i go to next i'm just trying you can move it up let me just see what will happen b this is the lazy pupil scenario b b again and wow i've finished so i'm told to submit my marks so when i submit send answer of course you'll be sending to the teacher who assigned that once you click send button wait and see what happens in that case right your paper has been marked <laughs> it is as simple as that your paper has been marked and your marks have been forwarded to the right teacher to now grade your work I've submitted and so that is why the time has stopped so immediately you submit the paper timing stops because you've already done be careful as you do this paper because you can you only have a, an opportunity to do it once and they you cannot do it again so that means the paper has been done now 
How have I performed? Click on this button. It will give you an overview of how you did in this paper. This is information. And then I can always click it to hide it and click it to see. In this case, it tells me that I failed in all the other questions except number four and number nine. Reason? I was gazing. Leave alone that. Let me bring you back here so that we see what happened. So I can always just return using this arrow. Just return to your questions to the platform and I'm back. You see I'm being told that the work has been assigned. The reason have not refreshed. So refresh like that. Now you will see when I refresh my page, it now tells me that my work has been turned in. Meaning I have done and submitted to the teacher. So once the teacher marks my work, let me mark it on the end of the teacher. Now the teacher has marked and has given me my result. So because I'm still online, I've not refreshed anything. That's why I'm not seeing. But already you see now my marks has come. Two out of that and there is one private comment. It is said that my, pri my comment is private because no one else in that class should see my comment. So I can read our, what the teacher says. The teacher says, poor work, because I got two out of ten. And I said that, once you are at home, just get back and avoid the notification. That notification tells me that the teacher has marked my work and returned. That is why you're seeing that mark. Now, when I come to my grades, there is a change. You can see now my grade has come back to Reason is because I did this quiz and I got just two. And there is one comment by the teacher and there is one attached file. So much on this we are going to interact. If you had your image on, the, on your page, you will be seeing yourself there. Always try and add your image on that. So that is the much about this system, how it works. It is a user-friendly platform. It allows you to read so much. So don't forget to read the notes. We have enough notes here for you to read on each topic. And then when there is a, some work to be done, you'll always be seeing that work. Let me see the notification that is here. The notification says, I have two. One says graded, meaning the teacher has given you a grade for your marks. That is why there is grading. It, it tells you there is a graded. And also you are being told that the teacher added one private comment. So always check on that comment. So it is easy, just log in and then begin using that. We will be giving you further guidance. Thank you.